Hello, my name is Sander and welcome back to another video about the Inventory Master Asset. Today I'm going to show you how to create storage boxes and uh, how to use them. Um, the first thing which we have to do is we have to create two storage boxes. I'm going to create some cubes. Uh, maybe you got already got some nice models. Um, uh, I create one and call this storage one because actually I will create two of them and yeah, we will place them now in our world. Um yeah. Press F, I guess this is better. Okay. Get it near to our player. Right there, I guess. Yeah, this is nice. And change the size of it. Unlike this one. Uh, this is good. And, yeah, okay. And I'll just duplicate this and call this storage 2, like this, and just place it on another position, like, whoops, like there, and I rotate this now by 90, so yeah, it's around the player. Okay, when we got this, uh, we want to create an inventory and storage. Um, I'm gonna go to 2D view again and press not F. Wait, um, F now. Um, be sure that the tooltip is always underneath. You can see that the tooltip is behind um, yeah, the inventory at the moment. So um, when when you want to have the tooltip in front of um, yeah, in front of the inventory, uh, you have to be sure that the tooltip is always in the hierarchy on the bottom side. Dragging item uh, has to be uh, the last item, but tooltip must be um, the second last. So, okay, when we got this, um, we, yeah, we just reposition this here, like there, and uh, we change the size of it. I like this how this uh, looks like. Uh, petting is okay, firstly. Stacking splitting, I want to have stacking splitting. Now you have to know the the number, maybe from the main inventory, um, because actually you you're not allowed to add items uh, into it, otherwise you will get problems. I'm gonna rename this to storage firstly, so that I know that this is for the storage. And oops, and yeah, let us go into the inventory design. I want to have a storage as a header later. Um, another font style like. This one and 14 and the color of this one. Okay, this looks firstly good. Uh, I have to change the inventory design of the background. Mm, there, like this one. Set it to this and yeah. If you want to see all the yeah all the textures which are already in this uh, asset, just go to textures and there's an example inventory. And they are all the textures which I yeah which you can use for your inventories. They are two different one different ones. So yeah, you can use them all for your games. Um, yeah, I want to have an X position, um, but I have to position this later, I guess. Anyways, because I have to change the padding, it looks pretty ugly. Okay, the slot design is the same at the moment. Um, I have to position. No, I firstly set the padding of it. Like I want to have left 15 and right also and bottom as well, and top should be around 25. Yeah, 25 is perfectly. Wait, yeah, like this, and I will have to position it uh, like there and yeah, wait. Sometimes the slider are bugging at the mo uh, not at the moment in general. So, um, yeah, this looks good. Ah, wait. So, okay. Um, then I want to position the X on, on the bottom. Ah, this is perfectly. And now we go back to our storage game objects. We have to add uh, storage inventory scripts and to each of the game objects, but I will copy paste this component. Uh, the first thing which we have to do, we have to drag this storage game object into this um into this area um 
we have to set a key code. I like the E key code for the inventory uh, for the for the storage opening. This is for the radius where you can open the storage, and here you can now add items to each storage. I want to have five bread now into this one store in this one storage, and when you just click on the storage items, um, you can see um, there's the list of size of one, and there's one bread into it. When you want to delete, uh, yeah, this one just set zero, and you delete this. Um, okay, let me just copy paste this, copy component, and just add another one. Uh, at the same one, um, I want to. I don't want to have the bread into it. I want to have an apple or five apples into it. And yeah, now it should be everything, I guess. Uh, let us test this. Um, yeah, just press E, and you see there's there are five breads into in it. Uh, you can just drag, drag and drop them around. Uh, I save now the five mana potions in it, into it. When you go out of the range of three uh, unity meters or meters or however you want to call it, uh, the storage just getting closed. Uh, let us go to the other storage box. You see there are five apples into it, and you also can store them into it. So you see that both storages are working with the same UI element, and this is a massive memory um, save. So yeah, this is about the storage. Uh, the, the storages for the inventory master asset. I hope you like this and the next video will be about the character system and see you. Bye bye.